The S Miles Cloud is a smart PV operation monitoring and management platform developed by Hoymile specifically for installers of distributed PV power plants. This platform provides an easy-to-use data hub for accounts under monitoring by visualizing the installation layout. Installers can set up new accounts quickly and access power production data of each PV module as well as detailed alarm information regarding commissioning and diagnosis. In this video, you will learn how to create plants and check data on the web. Before we start, let's take a look at how S-Miles Cloud Account System works. We have three types of accounts, Distributor Account, Installer Account, and Owner Account. Distributor Account can be obtained from Hoymiles. You can send an email to our Technical Support Center to get one. Installer account is set up by the distributor. If you are the end user, please contact your distributor or installer who sells the product to you for an owner account. Now, everything is clear, and let's get straight to the point. Type in the username and password and click Login, and you will be directed to the homepage. Click Plant on the top to go to the Plant page. Here you will see the Create Plant button on the right. Click it and start building your plant. First, you need to fill in the name of your plant and other basic information. Please avoid duplicate plant names. Then select the plant type and enter the capacity of your system. Please note that the plant type cannot be changed once it is created. So please select one that suits your installation situation and the installed capacity. If you have multiple arrays, please select the large commercial plant. Next. Select the location of your plant by pressing Ctrl and rolling the scroll wheel to zoom in or out of the map. The address you select will be automatically filled in and you can modify it. Then select your time zone. Please make sure you select the right time zone because a wrong one will affect the display of your daily power generation. Then select the country and region where your plant is located. You can upload a picture of your plant if you want to add the cover. If everything is all right, you can click Next to move on. Click Create Owner. Fill in the owner information. Please note that you cannot have duplicate accounts. Then click Confirm to complete the new owner account creation. You can edit your account, reset your password, and remove the account. You can also select another owner to switch the account. Please note that the owner account needs to be under the same organization. Then click Next to start adding your devices and setting the layout. Click Add Device in the middle to start adding the device serial number. The serial number of the DTU and microinverter can be obtained from the label of the body. If you need to add more microinverters, you can click Add a row or Add multiple rows and enter the serial number. Make sure you fill in the serial number correctly. Then click Save in the lower right corner. Please note that if you want to add more microinverters under the same DTU, just click Edit on the right. If you want to add more DTU, then click Add Device and fill in the information needed. Click Next to finish. Then we can move on to lay out your plant. Here, you will find three default layouts and one custom option. Arrange in order is convenient, but the layout may not match the actual arrangement so you will need to adjust it yourself in the next step. Click Next when the layout is complete. Then fill in the PV array information and click Confirm. Upload a picture of your installation map or click Next to proceed with the setting. Finally, you can decide whether to enable the advanced functions in the sidebar on the left and fill in the power station rules. Fill in the power station management information and then click Complete and activate the plant. Now, your power plant is set up and activated. You can click View Plant to return to the home page and check the operating status of the system. You can check the power production in the dashboard. Click the Layout tab to see the arrangement of your PV modules and their power generation. Daily production data of each module is also available. Switch to the Devices tab and you will see all the DTU and microinverters in your system. 
You can also export a report of each plant's power production data. The settings page contains various setting features and advanced functions. That's all for today's video. If you want to know about export management setting, you can check the link in the video note to see our episode on that.